You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Snooki and Jay Wow After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Snooki and Jay Wow After Show. I don't care. What's up, everybody? This is Sassy Gabby Loren back in the studio for Snooki and Wow. It is season three, episode one. So it was a season premiere tonight, and it was called We're Back, Bitches. Please introduce yourselves, my fellow hosts that we have in the studio tonight. I am Mackenzie Fain, everyone. And I'm Nick Perdue. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you guys, we are kind of subbing, filling in, maybe staying, because your normal Snooki and Wow hosts could not be here tonight. But um, interesting episode. Uh, Snooki and Gianni are still living in the basement of Gianni's mother's house, and I think that's absolutely crazy. What do you guys think about it? Well, I thought because... I remember when she first had him, they were setting it up, the mm. whole basement and everything, and they put Lorenzo on the wall. So that makes sense why they would move in in the beginning so that she could help them out. She didn't really know what she was doing. But it only has been how many months? Since she had the baby? Well, she yeah. said he's almost a year. So he's probably like eight months. He's not anything At that point that. when they were yeah. filming. Yeah, yeah. Um, but to me, like, you've had your baby for a year. You're a multimillionaire based off of your Jersey Shore branding. I mean, you'd think that this girl would buy a mansion somewhere like Jenny yeah. did. But it's yeah. so easy for her. Like, she gets everything. She gets a babysitter when she wants, a nanny, somebody to watch him for a second while she takes a shower. Like, Yeah, the mom, but can you can want? always drop, you know, you can drop him yeah, off yeah. at the grandma's yeah, house, right? I guess. Yeah. What do and, you think? Or man? like, or a... Uh, a condo. You don't have to get a house. You can get like a condo, like a nice apartment, something mm -hmm. like that, you know, so you're not paying a million dollars for a house with it. Right. Yeah. And that's kind of what uh, Sammy and Roger, and not Roger, Sammy and Ronnie did in like, I think they're in upstate New York, like Westchester oh, area. Yeah, yeah. They have mm -hmm. like a little condo that they both live in together. They're still together? So, yeah, apparently. is the last time we spoke to uh, Sammy, she's still with Ronnie. So. But I personally think it's crazy. But at the same time, I was thinking, well, maybe Snooki's just humble. And these are her humble beginnings. Like, she stayed normal because no. she's still not, like, spending her money crazily, maybe just on the clothes, but that's about it. However, then we saw later in the episode, Jenny calls her vain. So I'm thinking, you know what? Snooki, like you said, Nick, while we were watching, she's gone Hollywood. Yeah, but, you know, I think that they're doing it for TV. Like, this, I, I believe, is just a setup, to be honest with you. Yeah, like, when they said, when they were going to tell the mom, and the mom was just, like, smiling the whole time, she's like, I want to take the summer off. Like, I didn't think that was too, too yeah. real. Like Who takes the summer really? off these days unless you're a teacher, And first she kept of all. saying, like, she was acting dumb about it, and she's a mom. Like, she can understand. So I think that was for TV, too. Yeah, yeah and I she's getting paid. That. So she could afford to take the summer off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. The mom, you think? Yeah. Like the grandma? I do, yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. Because she's definitely part of it. They show her house in every episode. I don't think she's have. getting paid. I think it's really Gianni and Snooki are getting paid, and they're sharing it with the grandma. She's just one of those moms that my mom would not be like that, but she just doesn't want the baby to leave. She'll miss the baby. She'll miss her son. Oh, like, listen, Mackenzie, just... money changes everything. <laughs> You're like, my mom wouldn't be like that. But if you had millions of dollars in the bank, she might take off for her summer break, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't okay, know. Maybe. I <laughs> but I mean, it's a little ridiculous. We literally see Gianni's closet in a boiler room. Yeah. What? I was shocked by that, first of all. I, I didn't really follow last season, the second season. Um, so I didn't know that, but I'm sure all you viewers at home probably have seen that his closet's been there for a while. Mm -hmm. But I find that crazy, and like as a, a child, I mean, relationships and marriages are so crazy today. Yeah. The fact that you can raise a kid in your mom's basement and 
you know, not even have a normal space for your child is just so far from what I knew when I grew up. I mean, mm. it's not like they're poor and they can't afford a place and, you know, a separate area yeah. for their child. It's no, pampered. I definitely know what you mean. And, and that's the same for when I was growing up. Like, I never thought of that either. But I don't know. I mean, I think they'll do it. It's just they're young. They didn't think about having a baby. So why would they? That's true. They didn't know? really plan for it. It just kind of happened. You know, and luckily, you know, she was in a good financial state to where it's not, like, a big detriment to the family. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I mean, the basement's nice. Like, it's not like they're living, like, on a dirt floor. You know, like, you they make have. it sound like it's, like, a third world. Like, they have, <laughs> like, their basement's nice in a lot of apartments, you know, um, that I've seen. I mean, yeah. It's just one big room. It, yeah. It's decent, but who wants to have a closet like that? I don't know. I just no. think raising a family, it's different. Like, we're not actors or models or hosts working in Hollywood where we can't afford shit, you know what I mean? It's like their parents and they've literally built such a huge brand for themselves. Like they don't need to be living like that anymore. I don't care if they get an apartment. Like I think some of the apartments well, here are nicer actually. Like even that we're living in, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So what is what do you think the reason is that are they too humble? And I they think don't maybe really... they, maybe she's being wise with her money. You never know. Maybe she's saving it for something else or maybe there's a dream house she wants eventually that she's going to put it into where her business is. I'm not really Does sure. Does she it's have one confusing. now? Do we know? Businesses? No, a house. Oh, I I, I mean, mean I as far we'll as we're out. concerned, no, but <laughs> but like, like in real life, like she's on dance yeah, that's, stars right now. Well, that's what life. I'm saying, like oh. in, I mean, this yeah. is supposed to be real life, it's reality even though we know. Well, it's but reality. you know, I, I think that they can probably get MTV to pay for a house. Like, like, oh, like yeah. really, like they can get. Which they probably did for Jenny and Snooki. I was just gonna say that. season one when they had the apartment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so like, like if I was her, what I would do is I would have MTV pay for the house. You know, for like the first year or however long contract, we're, we're gonna yeah. be shooting. Yeah, like once you're done, you just keep living there. You just, you start yeah. paying the. That's smart. You know, it's not mm -hmm. a bad idea to yeah. do that. Um, what do you guys think about them moving to the shore for the summer? Oh, that should be. Interesting. I want to know how far it is from his house. Well, they're in New Jersey, so I'm not sure if it's that far. Maybe like an hour or two at most. Mm -hmm. Probably not much more than that. Yeah, okay. Well, then, I don't think it's bad. But it's like a beach house. Yeah, all the shore houses bit. are pretty much beach houses, I think. Because they're on the water. Yeah. So it makes sense. But I think it's a little crazy, actually, to do a beach house on the shore. Because, I mean, my image is just what they do on the Jersey Shore. It's a party town in the summer. Mm. I mean, there are some families, but unless they're going to a community, I don't know. I just think it's it's still like they're living as if they're single again. You and know. you're thinking like Lorenzo, like what are, we, what are they going to yeah, do? Yeah, and they have like a baby. Well, I don't know if like being on the shore is the best environment. See, that's what I was thinking when they said we're going to the shore for the summer. It's like they said that every year for the summer when they did Jersey Shore, but... What I'm thinking, like, I pictured them going to, like, a more of a open area, like a cul-de-sac, something, like, nice where he can be a toddler. More you know of a I mean? neighborhood. Yeah, more of a neighborhood. But, I yeah. mean, I do have to say my aunt lives in Narragansett, Rhode Island, and it's it's like the shore. Like, it's, you know, the beaches are right there. And she has a family and kids, and they don't like the summertime because there's so many tourists around. Yeah. But they love living there and by the sea, so. I think the boardwalk's a bad idea because of how loud it would probably be with all the crazy 21-year-olds yeah, running around mm -hmm. drunk. But, yeah, if it's a situation like you're in a cul-de-sac in a neighborhood with a community, sure, I think it's a great idea for them. What That's what you? it kind of looked like. Like It kind of looked like, you know, because we saw the previews at the end of the episode, so it kind of looked like it was like Martha's Vineyard-esque. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. to where it was nice, it was sailboats out there, you know, it wasn't this, ah, you know, like, yeah. where's the beach? It wasn't that yeah. Jersey Shore. It was like, oh, okay, this is like the adult grown-up, you know, Jersey Shore. Right, and then I, maybe this yeah. will push them to move into a house afterwards for good. Yeah, I think that's what their ultimate plan Goal is, is to, yeah. yeah, to do, is to test it out, which I think is great, you know, and Ro we'll get into Roger and jay's relationship but i mean they're already living together and having problems like they have a baby which is so much stress on them yeah. you know snooki and gianni and and they're taking things so slow let's talk about that for a sec so you're saying that they live together and they have all these problems and they're not even like with a baby or anything yet right mm -hmm. however i think snooki has it a little worse because she said she's only having sex once a month 
I've the never heard of a guy in like unless you're falling out of love with your wife or whatever, just have sex like once a month. That's crazy. She to has me. to be exaggerating though. No, I don't think she is. I think kid, well, kid, you saw it, like the they kid, live in one room, so like kids change things. The kid, it, yeah, I think so too. I you think know. they just the time <laughs> passes and they yeah. don't realize it. Okay, like, Nick, what are you trying to say that Gianni's you know not feeling snooky anymore? No, at this I'm not. Moment? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that like I mean you know as a man. You know, like, sure, every man has their needs, right? But then now it's like, okay, like, you have a kid. And so now, like, your, your focus switches to mm -hmm. your to your kid, especially when they're, when they're that young, you know? So it's like their sex drive probably, you know, diminished a little bit. Even but, a guy's, though? Yeah. I feel like guys are always going until you're, like, 80 on Viagra. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't you think? Well, yeah, I mean, like, yes and no. I, mean, I don't have any kids, but, you know, like, if I was to have a kid. You sure about that? Then, yeah, I, mean, I don't think there's any. I mean, a little mix right now out there. Really uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he's, you know, he's famous. <laughs> uh, but, no, like, like you know, then my focus would be on the kid. You know, I'm still going to love my, my wife, but, you know, like, it's not going to be like we're having sex as often as we were without the kid because I don't want another kid right now, you know, because yeah. he's messing around. And yeah, then, okay. and she even, what did she say? She's like, I need to get on birth control, like, to the to his mom. So clearly she's not, she's I don't know She's not about looking that. right now to have a baby. She, you know, she's skinny. She got her body back. I think she probably doesn't want to have a baby at the moment. No, yeah. not at all. But also, like, you can see they kiss each other. They're laying. He's rubbing her leg. Like, they're fine. Yeah. I think they're love so cute. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but love could still be there and men cheat. Like, it happens. I don't see. I don't know. I don't know why, but I don't, I don't see know. him cheating. Or, I, him I think they're good. Cheating, you know? I'm just saying, like, I that's strange Roger. to me. If my husband ever was, like, well, I mean, it's I like the break, like the Jenny Roger thing. Okay, once a week, I'm fine with that because especially being on birth control, you kind of like lose the sex drive a little. But not having it for like an entire month, like that's that's the strangest thing I've ever heard in my life, really. But it has to be both ways. Like she said it so nonchalantly, like oh yeah, like once a month. So it probably is more than once a month. Don't like limit it down to that. Probably like but a couple times a month. It's probably a couple mm -hmm. times a month, which means what? There's only four weeks in a month, so maybe yeah. probably once a week, or not even. Well, like well, once every other week or something. Right? Yeah, it it's must be then, less, you know. yeah, than but than Jenny. It's she not put a it big deal there. because she's not complaining about it. She wasn't saying it like, oh my god. Although like, she did say that he falls asleep. When, when yeah, <laughs> which that's what I'm yeah. saying. I I like, what the hell is going on? She should be tired. She's the mother. Like, I get that they're both working hard with their kid, but like, it's not the girl that's usually the one that's so sexually active. It's usually the guy. I don't know. I feel like it is lately. Snooki's a freak, to, though. Snooki's a freak. She is so. a freak. She is. Yeah. A, she is. Um, I think we're gonna have to ask what the Masters of Sex crew what they think about this because they're <laughs> skilled yeah. in that department. I would like to know actually. But um, I mean. Jay Wow says that she, you know, hooks up with Roger once a week at least. I know we've a little commented about it. Um, what do you think about their relationship, you guys? Oh God, the two of them. Yeah. What do you think, Nick? Mm, like I'm like, I think that he's just there just to be there now. Like, I do it's too. Not, it's not there's 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 no like when the initial attraction like when they first met, right? Jersey Shore when they first met, it was more like ah animalistic, and they were mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And now it's kind of like ah, eh, you know, whatever. Like Casual. she's she's there. I live with her. You know, like that's what it is. Like he got real comfortable now because you know he's like ah oh, she's living with me. See, you know? I think that, but then at the same time, sometimes he'll like sneak in these really cute little things like. You know, I make it known, he said, I make it known that I'm taken and you don't even wear your ring. Like, you know what I mean? And he said that, which I was like, oh, like he actually does care. He's mad that she's not wearing her ring to know that she's taken or whatever. But the, I don't know, their relationship, I don't, I'm on rocks about. I think they've definitely gotten comfortable. I agree with you, Nick, mm. um, both of them from each side. And I think it's weird that Jenny just leaves her ring off and just carelessly leaves it in the bathroom because do you know how many times you've heard about horror stories where someone like drops it down the drain oh or God. something? I would yeah. die. Like that's crazy. And do you know how much that ring was? Like he said he literally like that's a big ring. Two yeah. kidneys and his firstborn child. Exactly. <laughs> he freaked out about how much he had to pay for that, you know? So it's special and mm -hmm. and it's beautiful too. We've all seen the pictures, I'm sure. Um but I don't know, I definitely think they've gotten comfortable. I don't know. I, I also think that the fact that Roger said, um, what did he, he said something about the amount of time, like, oh, he's not ready to get married this weekend. Mm -hmm. He said that. And to me, it's like, 
Like, I know you said, Mackenzie, why are they engaged then? Yeah, why are they engaged is the question. Because at the point that you get engaged, you should know you are ready to walk down the aisle. Exactly. Because you made that step and you made the commitment already. You're halfway there. You're on your knee proposing to somebody, yeah. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Like, figure well, it out. Tell, me, tell us from a boy's point of yeah, view. Yeah, point of view. Your Boy. eyes are like popping out. A lot out. of times, this is what happens. <laughs> Guys Have you been engaged? No, no, no. Okay, we need to make but, clear um, that up. Yeah, I mean, no, no. no one's no one's ever been like, oh my god, I, you're the one. Uh, but you know, like he probably feel because you gotta remember. Like, Jenny is in, like, a, a special situation because now she does have this fame and this and that, yada, yada, yada. So it's like, well, to keep her from running off, even though she probably wouldn't, but to keep her from running off, I'll put a ring on it. You know, so it's like, I'm saying that I'm going to marry you eventually, mm. but it's not going to be a good prediction. Like, off of that, this is what I'll say. I don't think he necessarily thinks she would run away. I think it's more of like, because she's a brat. Like, we can all say that. She, mm. It's just more of like, all right, let me shut you up kind of thing. Put yeah. a ring on it. Like, yeah. I know? think that's more so what it is, yeah. actually, the let me shut you up idea because she had been begging for that ring ever since Snooki got engaged to Gianni. Oh, it was so. kind of like a battle between the two, and mm -hmm. I want that. Like that's what she that's what she wanted. She pretty much put it out there. Roger, when are we gonna take it to the next level? And she was like shopping for that's rings, smart. I think, that's and smart. doing all that stuff. And to me, like that's what gets you in bad marriages because <laughs> when you push stuff and you're not ready or the other person isn't ready. I don't even think Jenny's ready. I don't know. She's not happy. She wants couples therapy. Like, what are you thinking? But I do think, I don't think there's a problem with the couples therapy. I think it's great. Like, I think people in just regular relationships, oh, like you could need it. Need it, yeah, because mm -hmm. it helps you grow. Like, you're not understanding what I'm what I'm saying and you're not, and I'm not understanding what you're saying. So let's have somebody else. Like, I know, I have friends that will say, He's not getting what I'm saying, and I'll know both of them, and I'll mm. talk to them separately, like, and then they understand it. Well, for thank some God for you, then. <laughs> Guess I'm a, like a Seriously. little doctor. Start, Bill start over charging, here. yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie, how many roles do you play in life? Well, I'm kind of like a. What's her name? <laughs> Sybil. Do you know? What that is? is that from a book? <laughs> it's a movie, but she's like a multiple personality disorder thing. Uh, I don't know. I think you say Sybil Shepherd. But that sounds. That name sounds familiar. Like it's in a book, like something. Sybil. Famous. It might be a book, but it is a movie. Is I she know. deaf and blind? No, that's not um, Helen that. Keller. I'm like, I'm forgetting. No, not Helen Keller, but I mean, like, there's a <laughs> producer's cracking up in the back. I'm saying, like, I thought there was a book and the person's name was Sybil and maybe they had, like, a disability. <laughs> Why would I you associate myself to <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. That's terrible. Fans out there, if you know what we're talking about, please comment in the comment section. And you know what the movie Sybil is about. <laughs> or you like you know who Sybil is and what yeah. movie that is. Please yeah. let us know and comment on YouTube and iTunes. And while you're at iTunes, please rate us. Give us five stars if you think we're funny and you're enjoying the podcast and you're going to come back for more. Let us know. Also, let us know what you thought about the episode and we'll be sure to shout you out on the show. But go. back to our civil conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know what I think. Like, I, it was, uh, it was Roger was buying time. That's really what it was. Yes. You know, and and buying then, rings and time. <laughs> well, and because what it sounds, it sounds like like Jenny likes the idea of marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, and she maybe doesn't just like want marriage yet, but mm -hmm. she likes the idea, and she likes okay, well, like if we're going down that path, let me at least know that we're going down that path. So Roger being the guy that he is, he's like, okay, well, let me direct you, or let me point you in that direction. We're not going to start to walk down that path yet, but mm -hmm. I'm going to point you in that direction with this big shiny ring. And then so, like you said, I'll shut you up, you know, so now you feel like we're doing something, like we're moving somewhere with our relationship. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I wanted to say when she was, when she was like, I'm so scared to tell um, Roger about going to couples therapy, how I made the thing, whatever. And he was like, so is this a choice or is this something? you telling me that. Yeah, you're telling yeah. me or whatever he said. I honestly, for some reason, I know he wanted to go. Like, really? I really thought, not that he wanted to, but I think he didn't, you know, he didn't really care. Like, sure, I'll go, but he's he just stuck on, like, being that big, bad, like, I don't care. I would not be in the corner crying. Like, you remember how he was saying, it made a point to say that mm. well, to them. So that's I think, why I think that he wouldn't go or wouldn't. I mean, he's going to go, but that's why I think he didn't want to necessarily agree to go. Yeah, it's, I think it's just a show, though. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I think it's more of like just a little 
hard cover and she needs to break through that. I mean, I think this what this has to do with is his ego. Like he can't yeah. let it go and mm -hmm. and yeah, like you're saying he's this big tough Italian guy. I think he plays this facade cuz you know, when you're around a lot of people like that, they're all about image and you know how tough you are. So they don't want to look like stupid in front of their friends and family. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys are stubborn and won't go to couples therapy like I've seen it, you know. It, they don't want to do it because they think it's ridiculous. Like, what is this person going to tell me? Roger literally said, like, they're overpaid it, mediators or and moderators. What he did say that I, that I did like because, you know, he said it, it does take a long time to get to know somebody. And what do you do, sit there? Like, he's going to pay, I'm going to pay him to get to know my life. Like, yeah. that's a long time. And then he tells me, like... It's less about getting to know who they are and more about figuring out the situations they're having issues with and being able to dissect like how they can communicate to fix it. And they don't need to know who you are. They just need to, because they can actually figure that out, I think, more easily when they hear what the problem is. Mm -hmm. But they don't need to know who you are to like the core, you know, where you came from, you know, all that jazz. You don't they don't think? need that. No, I think if it's a deep-rooted issue, like you're having like daddy problems, that's a different story. Okay. But like their communication problems, I think they're, she's just going to let them know, like, listen, you need to say this, you need to communicate that, this is how you're going to fix it, just to be that person that is non-biased. What about when she said, but if he says that Roger's right, I'm going to kick him in the balls or whatever he said. But they're both like that. I'm sure Roger's <laughs> yeah. thinking the same thing, you know but what I mean? They're I, both I think, stubborn. I think what it is is that, like, they just have to get out of the habits that they've developed. Yes. You know, so once they break those those habits and they get back to, to square A where they started. I don't even know if I like the square A. Uh, I just put up this, like, honest. amazing quote on Facebook recently that I um, got out of, like, a video on YouTube from, like, Eckhart Tolle. I don't know if you guys know mm -hmm. who that is. Great author. Anyways, it, he mentioned something about not being um, victim to your conditioning, but mm. be more like, like let it be your awareness type of thing. And, and in this situation, what would help them, and I think in therapy as well, is being aware of their problems and knowing how they handle it and how they can handle it to better the situation, um, as opposed to being a victim to your conditioning from how you grew up, your environment, what you've learned through just experienced life. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yeah, that makes sense. That's good. Because, I mean, yeah, everyone grows up differently. We all have different ways of living and different morals and values. But when you're a partner of somebody else, you need to learn how to work with them if you love them, you know? Yeah. And I also think that they're, I don't know, I get this vibe that their relationship is very immature and just not... Uh, do you? Or are you laughing because yeah, you disagree? No, no, yeah, I mean, that's it is, that's right? it immature. Like. So then that makes me think, like, with all relationships, they're probably fighting and fighting about little petty things, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I yeah, think. Yeah, okay. So Dogs I think, being whatever else. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, they have to realize that no matter what they're fighting about, they still love each other. And I think that's what yeah. couples forget about, like, it doesn't matter if I left the peanut butter open or you did. Like, I, I love you, and we're not going to fight about it. Right. I feel like people forget that part. Like, you know what I mean? Is it over losing you completely, or am I really going to fight about the peanut butter being open or whatever it is? And this is why I think we had a breakthrough moment tonight, because Roger said, if you want to go, I'll go. Mm -hmm. And that's all he needed to say to show that he actually cares about the relationship. Yeah. And he's going to do what it Aww. takes, you know? Oh, well, Raji. Yeah. Uh, all right. No, I mean, you know what it is? I think that their life is so put together that it's not like, you know, that that's why their relationship is so immature because it's like, okay, well, what else are they going to do with the rest of their day? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 what, like, like what is Jenny really doing? Like, she's not getting up and going to work. Like, you know, like, what is she <laughs> really doing? Like, Roger probably doesn't have to work anymore, but he may go. We don't know where he goes. He goes I think somewhere. he does work, yeah. Oh, he's but probably he's, some, he's, like, he's not doing any manual labor anymore. I could probably tell you that. Like he's you see his eyebrows. He's not doing really? any more manual labor anymore. <laughs> but he's yeah, not, he he hasn't chubby. always been like he that. He got a little chubby. And he got yeah. He's like he's over here supervising, delegating this and that. Yeah. You know, it's so like his the business he's doing now is more like behind a desk. It's more you know. I mean, if he wants to get he doesn't know, he wouldn't he's not he doesn't need the money so he doesn't need to work. But what were you gonna say? I'm just saying, like, <laughs> just, just, just that, 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 like, where their life is right now is that, like, they really don't have anything to worry about. Like, they, like, like, their biggest problem is 
themselves. Exactly, because you when know? you're in a relationship, it's about working together and making those strides to like get a house, get an apartment, get engaged. Like they didn't need to do any of that stuff because they got handed yeah. all the money. They, it just fell in place. Like they are very put together, yeah. you know, right now. So like, what else do they do? Like they don't have the struggles of like struggling artist and like they're really not artists like jenny's not an artist roger's not an artist you know like they don't like i'm gonna say like, they don't the have, a, have, a, have a talent you <laughs> i know. like that mckenzie she goes artist at the gym that was yeah, the like greatest quote ever they, they they work out that's what they do you yeah. know so yeah. so overall do you think that um i mean the pressing question in the news is will kim kardashian and kanye last but do you think snooki and gianni will last and do you think jenny and uh roger will last I think Snooki and Gianni will last, but I do not think that they should, or Roger and Jenny should last or will last. I think I think Jenny and Roger will last as long as the show lasts. I agree because That's I think good. once the show ends and they're faded out, their fifteen you know minutes are over. Yeah. Um, I think that they might reevaluate if they want to be together forever. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, even married people, they're getting divorced all the time. So they could even take it to that step and realize that's not working out. Because you can just see when, like, people are genuinely, like, in love. You can tell that Snooki and Gianni, like, love each other. You I know? mean, it was, it was good casting, let's just say that. I, yeah, I really do. You think it was casted? It was, it was great casting. Roger was casting. Oh, cast. no it was, way. It was, it, was, it was good casting. Roger, I think, was. I Yeah, was but I casting. don't think um, Gianni was. Because no, I remember because got... seeing Gianni in Jersey Shore, and they never introduced him. But, you but she see, got him pregnant. You would see or, clips of him, sh her on the boardwalk talking to him, but was never really a character on the show, not even a guest character, you know? And then it came out that they started hooking up and whatever, and then she got pregnant. Yeah. So I don't think that was cast at all, because just remembering back, I used to see snippets of him, but he was no big deal. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know. I think that, I think Snooki will last with Gianni for now. I think uh, Jenny and Roger probably not, but there's. I mean, we say they're kind of old, but they're not really old in real life. If you think about it, like once you <laughs> they're hit, old, once you're pushing forty, I mean, let's reevaluate at that point. Now they're young; they're still learning and developing and growing. In their nice, so, beautiful house together. That yeah, thing. and they could be growing apart. So we'll see what yeah. happens. Um, fans, let us know what you guys think. If they're gonna stay together, what team you're on. So what are your overall thoughts on this episode, you guys? Was it a hit, miss, or somewhere in between? I don't want cake anymore. I can tell you that. You don't want cake anymore. <laughs> okay, no, I, don't, I know. I don't, I don't the dog thing they were just trying to, to go. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. like, annoying. But So I mean, did you guys like it? I, lo I liked think? it. I, I think Lorenzo, we haven't even said that, but isn't he the cutest thing ever? Adorable. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's so cute. He's I could just watch him all day. But... Um, <laughs> He'll, he'll get his, his own show. I know, he's so cute. Like, you know, Nick Jr. or something. You They'll know, right be now. around as long as the Kardashians. Um, <laughs> love them, too. But, yeah, I don't know. It was good. I didn't like the little, like, snippets of them because I thought it was kind of fake. I don't know. The Jenny thing with the dogs. Oh, and, yeah. That know. seemed very set up to me. But, yeah. um, I don't know. that The whole dog thing and going to try and get a pedicure and then trying to go eat. I, I did not find any of that entertaining. No, me either. I think they kind of fell off a little. Because we used to be Jersey Shore goers where we'd see them go out drinking, hooking up with random people, bringing them back home, getting pregnant, and getting <laughs> married. Like, now what is going on? I want to see something they're juicy. But life. I still yeah. have. Yeah, <laughs> they're I running wanna... errands. That's what they're doing now. <laughs> yeah, they're running errands. <laughs> that's that's for on. sure. I, I do want to know what their lives are like, though. Like. I would still look up on the internet if they didn't have their show. Like, oh, like what Snooki's up to. So I want to. I would want to mm -hmm. see it. You know what I think would be a more interesting show if they kind of followed them more in the business sense because we're seeing Snooki on Dancing with the Stars. Jenny, I'm sure, has her own brands and stuff like the rest of them with their alcohols and their fashion lines and everything Spray else. And if we like could, that. yeah, this the tanning lotion, right? If we could see more of that stuff, I think it would be way more entertaining. Like, mm -hmm. Snooki's living the Hollywood life right now. She's in L.A. all the time shooting for ABC. Like, I want to see more of the behind the scenes, her interacting with celebrities, like, things that are really interesting. Do you think, I don't think she got the call yet. What do you mean? About Dancing with the Stars. What do you mean she didn't get the call? She's on, on the, the show. show. 
No, well, on now, the show. But when yeah. they were filming for this season, so they might it might come in here. Oh, uh, she might. Yeah, like, get, but don't you think it would just be a like not just a feature episode? I'm saying like follow these girls in their business in ventures, their everyday, like in their actual yeah, everyday not life. like this BS. Like I'm a fun, quirky personality <laughs> because we already mm. know who they are. We've seen it. We want to see like where they are post Jersey Shore and like. Yeah. Not just see babies and dogs. I like, mean, I do it. still love <laughs> Snooki because I laughed a lot. Like I thought she was funny. Things yeah. she say says she's are still funny. a funny girl. But mm-hmm. like I want to see her in a different element, like yeah. the post Jersey Shore element. Yeah, I, I definitely yeah. understand. Yeah, I mean, like, they're they're not that entertaining them, themselves. Like they they need like their business life. Like you said it's it's more entertaining and it's more. I guess it. It gives people, you know, like, oh, like, this is what really goes on. Like, this is how you put a book together. This is what, you know, like, she would go on book tours and book signs and stuff like that. So, like, they should have been there for that. Yeah. yeah. You know, so this is what it was like on the road. And, because you know, that's the their true life so, right now. It's exactly. like they're just playing it up as in these people are normal people still, like, living at oh. home with their mamas. Like, no, I want to see them promoting their books, doing all this fun stuff, traveling to different states, like meet and greets with fans. Why is that not being shown? If it was on E!, it would be shown. Yeah. Because they're all about the celebrity, you know? Yeah, because even when that's what they did with the Jersey Shore. They never showed, like, people, crowds coming to see that. They did, yeah, especially towards the end. We would see a lot of the... But like I think that was by accident. Like groupies and stuff. And then like if you go online, you'd too, like see it. Yeah, like I didn't think that. I didn't there. think they promoted that though. I thought that not was really. More like, oh, like towards the clip, end, we saw it more. But yeah, there's exactly. people taking pictures. Yeah, for a while it wasn't like the highlight, like that they're celebrities because mm-hmm. it wasn't supposed to be like that. But now they're celebrities, and we're still watching them. Yeah, it is now they're of, celebrities, and we're still watching them like this. Yeah, I don't know. That's just my take on it. So, what do you guys predict for? the rest of the season your after buzz tv predictions that's new um (laughs) (laughs) we went old school with this one went back i don't know i think it'll be good i i just i want to see more of lorenzo uh i think what's what's uh, gianni's mother's name what's name lauren janice janice Janice. I, i think she'll uh she'll crash the shore house you know, oh like, yeah, like she, that'll be she's funny. She's gonna like show up in like random times, and she's gonna stay. <laughs> and so you know, because they have to draw out her storyline a little longer. So you know, like she'll be there. Uh, and we see that Roger and Jenny, you know, join them at the Shore House. So I mean, I, it it may be a little a la Jersey Shore, you know, just a little bit, and yeah. then so. bring it back. Yeah, that's that's all I expect. I'll tell you what I want to see. I want to see couples therapy go down, yeah, and too. I want to see what happens there. I don't know if it's gonna make the situation better or one of them's going to freak out in the session and walk out. So I'm excited to see that. Um, and you see um, Jenny and Roger, there was a clip of them working on their romance and Roger was straddling oh. Jenny on the bed. So maybe that was one of the issues brought She's up like, in therapy <laughs> and like now they're working on sex. She's like, this is not uh, romance, it's molestation or what'd she say? Is yeah, that that's it? what she said. <laughs> It's so funny. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing them rekindle mm-hmm. the romance and maybe bring it back to the old times. Maybe. But yeah, you guys, let us know what you thought about the episode. Again, what you think is going to happen between Roger and Jenny JWoww, because um, we'd love to hear it and then talk about it on the next episode. Real quick before we sign out, I just want to let you know, since we didn't really do news and gossip, if you weren't aware... Holly D is now a father. Woo! He Big girl. just had, he became a baby daddy. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, according to TMZ, um, a girl met him in Vegas. I think she's originally also from Rhode Island, but met up, him up in Vegas when he was DJing. She got him pregnant. I mean, sorry. <laughs> he he, he, he got that baby long. <laughs> he got her pregnant. And um, there's DNA tests happening, and I think, like, it was confirmed. But yeah. he is the father. And so he's going to be raising this kid. He's taking the initiative. That's so, how you get another show back on E. That exactly. Right there. You That's great how you get PR, another reality great show. PR, guys. <laughs> that is great doing? PR. I'm sorry, Polly, but I hope it works out for you. And we're excited <laughs> to see you maybe on Playdates with Lorenzo. Woo! Yeah. There you go. All Hopefully right, the but, mom's good. Yep. Thank you, guys. And we will see you for episode two, season. Oh, oh, yeah. So we will see you, my bad, I'm like all over the place now. We will see you next time, but before we head out, we want to let you know where you can follow us and tweet at us and let us know your thoughts. You can find me, or follow me, at Mackenzie Fain on Twitter. 
You can find me all over the internet at the Nick Purdue. You can find me on Twitter at Gabrielle underscore Loren and Instagram at Gabby LO87. That's it for tonight, y'all, and we're back, bitches. Woo! From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later, later, bitches. Come on, Nick. Oh, I the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.